morning, namaste. Hope you're all well today. So thank you for being here. We're going to be doing a 15 minute short practice wake up yoga. I call it wake up, it's like coffee for the soul, I'll call it. A really, really nice one to do. Probably any time, you can do it in the evening, but more so for the morning when you wake up and you just need that bit of energy and a nice stretch. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So I just want you to come sit it up into a nice straight position here. So roll your shoulders back away from your ears. Sit up nice and tall. So imagine you've got a golden thread pulling you from your root chakra all the way up to the top, sitting nice and straight. And then just bringing your hands over your heart. So gently place your hands over your heart. Feel your heartbeat. Feel this present moment. And just breathing into your heart space. And breathe out. Breathing in, breathing in gratitude, breathing in love. Putting a smile on your face. And exhale, let all your worries, any negative thoughts, just let it exhale with your breath. One more, inhale in. And exhale out. Good. And then just bring your hands down, back onto your knees, and just gently rotating your neck round in one direction. Exhale as you come down, inhale as you come up and noticing where you feel any tension in your neck, in your shoulders and just releasing it with the breath, letting it go and the other direction, inhale up, exhale down, take a nice big circle so you're getting a full stretch here, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Coming back to centre, just taking your shoulders up to your ears and back and down. Bring them forward, up to your ears, back and round. Just really notice often when we wake up in the morning, we're quite stiff, when we've, especially if we slept in one position. So this is just a lovely way just to release it and take it the other way. So taking it back, up and down, back, up and down, back, up and down. And then just sitting up nice and tall, taking your right hand over to your left knee taking your left hand back, keeping your hands as close as possible towards your back, lifting up and taking a gentle twist, looking over your left shoulder. And back to center and over to the other side. So left hand to right knee, right hand pushed against your back, lift up, twisting from your belly button, looking over your right shoulder and coming back and just lifting up now nice and straight bringing your hands down in front of you and just walking forward so just walking forward keeping your sit bones still grounded behind you and just stretching forward seeing how far you can come down making sure that you're folding from your hips the whole time See how far you can bring your head down towards the ground. And walking your hands back. This time just coming onto your all fours and sitting back into your child's pose. So bringing your bottom over to your heels, so stretching forward. Bring a nice deep stretch across your back, across your shoulders. And then rolling up, rounding your back. As you inhale, pushing your sternum, your chest forward, arching it back, looking up. Exhale, round your back. 
chin down to chest, so feeling another deep stretch in the shoulders. As you inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale as you round your back, chin down to chest. One more time. Looking up as you inhale. Exhale. And this time I just want you to arch your back, look up and folding your bottom back onto your heels into child's pose and round your back, coming up, arching your back, looking up and coming back into your child's pose. So we're just flowing here, use the breath. With the inhale, look up, exhale as you come back into child's pose and just flow like the ocean here. So just really opening up your muscles, opening up your back, waking up your body, and then coming back into neutral position, tucking your back toes, lifting up your knees, bending your knees back and coming into your downward facing dog. Now, as it's our first downward facing dog, you might find that your back of your legs a little bit stiff. So you can just walk it out here, just pedal your feet, bringing your heels down, toes up, so just walking your feet out and gently massaging your feet as well. Good. And then holding your downward facing dog, coming down, stretching down, and then lifting up your right leg into your three-legged dog. So just really open up here, bending your right knee, taking your knees to your chest. Inhale, as you bring your leg back up, bending your knees, knees to chest as you exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bringing your knees to your chest and then just dropping your right foot in between your hands. Good. Just holding this lunge here, finding your centre, grounding your feet and then lifting up. So just lifting up nice and tall, bringing your hands up nice and straight, really opening up your chest, opening up your shoulders. Good, nice morning stretch here. And then fold forward and you can just go swing your arms. So inhale as you come up, exhale as you come forward. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you come forward. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you come forward. Inhale, as you come up, this time just bringing your hands down in front of you, grounding your right foot here. And then I just want you to lift up your left leg. So you're coming into a modified warrior three, rear Vodasana three, so you're straightening up your right leg. You can stay here. Or you can see if you can bring your hands into prayer position at your heart, into your warrior three. So engaging your core, finding a focus point in front of you, into like a L shaped, so your legs are in line with your body. And then inhale, lifting up, trying to keep your left foot off the ground, standing up and just lifting up your knee towards your chest. Good. And then holding on to your left knee, just opening it up. So keeping your right hand at your heart center, opening up your left leg, coming back to center. And we're gonna go into our tree posture. So you can either come into a modification of keeping your foot down or you can bring your foot onto your shin so underneath your knee find that focal point in front of you or you can lift up your foot and place it on top of your knee into your tree posture so just stay here hands at your heart center breathe in breathe out Sending 
tall and strong like a tree. Your feet are grounded like the roots of the tree. Good. Releasing your left leg. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Folding forward into Uttanasana. Bend your knees. And we're just going to roll with this a few times. So inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come down. Staying down now. Stepping back your feet into your downward facing dog. Good. Holding it here. Lifting up your left leg. Bending your knees, knees to chest. Inhale as you come into your three-legged dog. Bending your left knee, exhale, knees to chest. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, this time dropping your left foot in between your left hands in between your hands, I mean. Holding this lunge, grounding your left foot. Find that centre. Good. And then lifting up into your high lunge here. So really opening up your hips, your psoas, opening up your chest. Nice and tall, really waking up your body here. And then folding forward as you Inhale, exhale, fall forward, come back up, use that breath, move with your breath. <clears throat> Good. Feel the energy cultivating in between your hands, you should feel some tingling here. Good. And back up, this time just folding forward. Bringing the weight into your left foot and then with control, lifting up your right foot this time, toes are, toes are pointed, firmly ground your left foot, find your focal point on the floor in front of you and if you can, just coming up into your warrior three, hands to your heart, holding this nice and strong, Finding that balance. Good. Breathe. And then lifting up. Lifting up your leg. Hands to your heart. Just holding your knee up here. And then using your right hand to hold your right knee. Just opening up to the side. Opening up your hips. Good. Coming back to centre. And we're going to go into our tree. So you can take your variation. You can keep your foot down. I'll face you this time. Foot down. Or you can bring it just underneath your knee. Or you can take it above your knee. Hands to your heart. Standing nice and strong. Breathe. Engage your core here to help you with balance. Finding your drishti point, your focus point. Good, standing nice and tall. You are strong, you are balanced. Good. And then releasing, inhaling, coming back up. Folding from your hips, you can bend your knees if you need to, just folding forward here, walking out your legs. Walking it out as you fold forward into your Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Forward fold. Hold in this here so you can hold the back of your legs here. To really push your chest down towards the top of your legs. Good. Breathe. And 
then releasing your hands, bending your knees, coming back up. <coughs> this time, opening up your legs as wide as you can. We're going to go into forward fold. The wider you take your legs, the easier it is, funny enough. Um, you can have a slight pigeon toe on your feet, so your, your toes can be pointing slightly inwards. We're going to lift up. And we're going to fold from our hips. You're going to hinge from your hips. So as your bottom goes back, your chest comes forward. Bottom goes back. Chest goes forward. Bottom goes back. Chest comes forward. And when you can reach the ground, just place your hands down. Again, you can use, if you've got block for support, you can just use your block. Or you can just keep your, try and bring your head down. Feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. And then we'll just move with this a little bit. So inhale up halfway, straighten up your arms. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you come up halfway. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale fold forward. This time just holding it as far as you can. Breathing into any space where you feel a little bit tense today. And if you want you can try and grab onto your ankles as well to get an even deeper stretch. Good. Breathe. Find that peace. <clears throat> And slowly, bending your knees, rolling back up, heel toeing your feet back to centre, coming onto your tiptoes, bending your knees, bringing your hands down towards your heart and just come down really slowly as you squat down. Good. Holding it here. And then just giving yourself a hug. So just hugging your knees, bringing your head down, staying on your toes, challenging your balance. Good. And then whenever you're ready, just come and lie down. So lying down onto your back here. And then just taking your legs over to one side. So keeping your shoulders grounded, looking over your left side, folding over towards the right. Just feeling that deep stretch. Breathe. Letting your body release with the exhalation. And over to the other side. So keeping your right shoulders, both your shoulders grounded. Fold it over towards the left. Good. Breathe, just melt, melt into the pose. Coming back to centre. And just dropping your feet out. So coming into your Shavasana, just laying here in Shavasana, palms are facing up. <clears throat> Feet are just propped over to the outside of your mat. Just relax, let your body just melt into the ground. Shavasana is a very important asana to do at the end of our practice to help still your mind, to help your body settle. It settles your mind, your body, your chakras just fall into place. Breathing in. And with each exhalation, just feeling your body melt into the ground. And then you can stay here in Shavasana for longer, otherwise you can come out with me. So just stretching your arms over, really opening up, bending your knees, folding over to one side, and sitting back up. Whenever you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, 
noticing how your body feels from like 15 minutes ago. And then inhale, bring your arms up over your head. Exhale, hands down to your heart. One more time. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands back down over to your heart. Thanking yourself for making time to do something really special for your mind, your body and your soul this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.